This video contains about a gigabyte of data, but quite possibly the only thing you remember is today's state of my hair. This enormous loss of data in the human brain is extremely perplexing. It's not about being lazy or forgetful, it's built deep into our circuits. The authors of a new paper now had a close look at how much we know about it and they warn of the musk illusion, the idea that putting implants into our brain can increase the neural bandwidth. Let's have a look. This paper comes from two biologists at Caltech and it's the rare example of an academic publication that's actually readable. Titled The Unbearable Slowness of Being, it's a collection of data from various publications to put numbers to the mismatch between data input and throughput in the human brain. Our senses, for example the eyes, process information at typically about 1 gigabit per second. Yet our cognitive function, our ability to draw conclusions and perform actions, seems to level off at about a measly 10 bits per second. That's a mismatch of Eight orders of magnitude. Why? The number of bits per second is basically a measure of information in a sequence. That could be, for example, a sequence of actions or words. 10 bits per second is the typical information rate in human language. Indeed, this rate is pretty much constant across all languages. While in some languages, like Japanese, they cram more syllables per second, the syllables then are more alike and carry less information on their own. But it's not just speech. The authors collected a lot more data like from speed typing, speed chess, solving the Rubik's Cube, memorizing digits or objects, esports, video games. They all level off at around 10 bits per second. Even the world record holders in these areas will just be a few bits faster than us average people. One of the consequences, for example, is that if you try to speak too fast, you'll simply not have the next word ready when you need it. So you'll have to either pause or use filling sounds. Such is the misery of being human. The authors of the paper say the reason is that basically we have an outer brain that does information processing, sight, sound, movement and so on, and it does massive parallel computing. Then we have an inner brain that converts that input into output, but that works serial only. It does one thing at a time. That creates a massive bottleneck and is why the human brain is so terribly slow compared to microchips. Okay, but why is this so? Why does the human brain work this way? It's an important question, I think, because we'd like to know what matters for consciousness, don't we? And it has practical consequences, because some technology companies like Elon Musk's Neuralink are already working on brain-computer interfaces. Many of them have this idea that they can just deliver the raw data to the brain at high information density, not just restoring, but actually improving sensory perception. This is what the authors call the Musk illusion. The idea that we can improve the human brain by delivering more data. They say that this won't work. It's like trying to pour a lake through a straw. Computer brain interfaces will instead have to find smart ways to compress information. Okay, but why is the brain so slow and can we do anything about it? Some of the explanations that have been proposed in the past were that it's a way for cognitive function to remain resistant to noise, or that it's particularly energy efficient. But the authors of the new paper argue that these explanations don't hold up. They say that the human brain would be totally capable of dealing with much higher information throughput. They suggest instead that the slowness is a legacy of evolution, which aimed first at steering one body along one path. Honestly, I find it somewhat depressing that my brain is so slow. I certainly hope that in the future we'll hook up with artificially intelligent systems to speed up our thinking. Maybe then we'll speak a billion times faster, wouldn't that be something? Hello? Hi Elon! No, what they call the Musk illusion is the idea that we can improve cognitive function by feeding more data into the brain. They say it's like putting a USB port into a potato.
Yes, of course, I take your ideas seriously. I've set aside ten full bits just for that. Love you too. Bye. Yes, the human brain is very slow, mine in particular. For years, my productivity system was a collection of Google Docs, which I do not recommend. I've tried every productivity app under the sun, Notion, Todoist, you name it. But why do I need to build a database just to make a to-do list? That's not a productivity system. That's a part-time job. Then I came across AmpleNote, who I'm happy to say are sponsoring today's video. Over the past few weeks, I've been using it as my second brain, and I've actually been impressed. It combines notes, tasks, and a calendar in one place, so I no longer need different apps and a degree in project management just to stay organized. The browser extension lets me save what I read online. On mobile, I can press record, babble into the phone, and it turns it into tasks and notes for me. There are stuff I didn't even fully try out yet, like the page that correlates my mood with what I get done, maybe the key to finally managing my stress. So if you'd like a second brain and who doesn't need one, I recommend you check out AmpleNote for free at amplenote.com. Thanks for watching. See you tomorrow.